Root Capital is a social investment fund working to reduce poverty and sustain the environment in developing countries. So we're pioneering finance for unbanked rural communities and grassroots businesses in Latin America, Africa, and getting started in South and Southeast Asia. So think farmer and artisan associations that can move rural populations out of poverty and become engines for sustainable development. So in places like, say, Ethiopia, Bolivia, they create alternatives to short-term survival tactics like slash and burn agriculture or illegal logging, which contribute to massive deforestation, soil erosion, the growing threat of climate change. So we do three basic things. We provide capital to uh, businesses locked out of the local banking system, stuck in the missing middle between microfinance and traditional banking. So too, too large for the $500 loan to the street vendor or the shoe cobbler, and still too small or perceived as too risky to attract commercial financial institutions. Um, second thing is we build local talent and business skills with a focus on bookkeeping and basic financial management. So folks with little or no formal education can kind of compete in the global marketplace, connect their enterprise to buyers and banks. And then lastly, we try to engage with the finance industry and encourage local banks and financial institutions to kind of recognize market opportunities, um, adopt and enhance our work, and over, over work ourselves out of a job over time. We Two weeks ago, made a loan to um, small farmers living in the eastern Congo, in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And the Congo is a country that, uh, between 1999 and 2003, um, was the scene of violent conflict involving nine different countries, uh, largely related to mineral extraction. And it was called the First World War of Africa. And the um, death toll was from fighting, malnutrition, and disease uh, was over three million people. And peace is coming slowly, and fighting continues in certain regions, but in a particular region called uh, Beto Butembo, which is right along the border with southern Uganda, uh, the community there has opted for peace, and they're trying to restore a once thriving farm economy. So we made a loan two weeks ago of $140,000 to a remarkable company called Gourmet Gardens in Uganda that has trained um, uh, over 1,200 small-scale farmers in production of organic cocoa and vanilla. Um, and the, the company in Uganda has specialty market access in Europe and is paying premium prices that are three times the local conventional price if there are conventional buyers. Um, and the producers are also uh, in the buffer zone of the uh, uh, Virunga National Park, which is home to one-third of the remaining gorilla population. Uh, and so the premium prices provide incentives for forest conservation and uh, alternatives to poaching. Uh, so that's an example of uh, supporting businesses in places like the Congo that can both drive economic renewal and national reconciliation.